What up? I'm Henry, and this is Blaze the Roof. This is the first episode in a series of videos that I'll be doing where I'm reviewing hot sauces of various flavors uh, and different types, and of course, uh, heat levels, right? Uh, our first hot sauce will be the uh, original sauce from Howler Monkey, all right? It's a Panamanian style hot sauce, uh, also known as a aji chombo style, okay? So a little bit about this sauce, right? Uh, well, first let's talk about Howler Monkey. This company, uh, they support a really great cause. And I, I love companies that have causes uh, that they support, right? So they support the Canines for Warriors uh, organization, which pairs up service uh, canines with uh, either soldiers that have uh, PTSD or any, uh, any other various uh, traumatic uh, disorders so uh, I think it's a great cause and I just wanted to point that out so uh, a little bit now about uh, Howler Monkey themselves they're out of the city of Jacksonville Florida so few tidbits about Jacksonville right Jacksonville was named after uh, General Andrew Jackson who later on went to become president and one of the most bloodthirsty people on the planet really Jacksonville Anyway, uh, it is also the hometown of Henry Lee Lucas, a serial killer, and also Fred Durst, an even worse human being. So let's now look at the packaging. All right, so looking at the label here, it's got a cool little uh, Howler Monkey on it, hence the name. Uh, I think the packaging is really simple, you know, uh, it's not overstated. It's not anything like too outrageous. I know the bottle is mostly empty. I have been already <laughs> sampling some of this. So this won't be my first time trying it on camera, but it's, still we're gonna have fun with this, right? Yeah, I just like the simplicity of this bottle. So we're gonna then move on to the ingredients. All right, so looking at the label here, uh, this sauce is made with distilled vinegar, red scotch bonnet chilies, um, garlic, onions, mustard, cumin, uh, black pepper, and turmeric, right? Uh, the disappointing thing about it is it's not made with real Howler Monkey, I know. Um, now the main pepper in this is the Scotch Bonnet, right? Uh, it's also known as the Bonnie or uh, Caribbean pepper. Uh, it is a descendant of the Habanero, uh, and the more mature they they become, uh, they turn redder. So at, at red is kind of like the most mature that they get. Uh, the pepper actually has some heat clocking in at about 80,000 to 400,000 Scoville heat units or SHUs. You're going to hear that term quite a bit uh, throughout this series. So uh, it's a scale used to measure the heat in the, in the sauce and is often exaggerated as a marketing ploy. So be careful with that. A lot of companies will claim that they have the hottest sauce you know, based on the SHUs and it's not even true. So um, so these are also, these uh, Scotch bonnet peppers are rich in uh, iron, thiamine, uh, niacin, magnesium, blah, blah, right? There's a lot of good, good items that go along with this. So um, before we go any further, let's first hear a word from our sponsor. Do you need to add a little bit of zip to your party? A little zest to your fest? What better than a barrel of monkeys? Or at least one? Monkey Business Party Ape Rentals. We've got everything from marmots to silverback gorillas. Sorry, no orangutans. You'll go ape for our prices because we don't monkey around. All right, so now the moment of truth. Uh, this sauce clocks in at 600 Scoville. So what we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna do it just with a spoon, right? Um, I think you put it on foods and it can change the, the taste profile of it. So I wanna experience it just full on, right? Again, I've had this sauce before, so, uh, but let's take a look at it. So on the bottle it does say shake well. 
right? Because it's pulpy, as you can see there. Um, it does have bits of chili in it, but it's also not very viscous. You just have to shake the bottle real well before you try it. So here we go. So the initial thing that you notice about the flavor it does taste like vinegar, but it's not really overpowering. You taste uh, a lot of the spices. This actually has a little bit more kick than I thought it would, right, initially. You can feel it a little bit more on the back of the throat and back of the tongue. Slightly on the tip of the tongue, but not quite. Um, very tasty sauce, though. Again, with all the spices it has on it, uh, I would definitely recommend using this on like chicken, pork, um, maybe most vegetable dishes just you could use it on a lot I've actually used it on eggs and chorizo before I have also um, there's a recipe on their website for HMS lentils right howler monkey sauce lentils that also has chorizo in it so really pairs up well with chorizo so if you really like that uh, definitely give this a go uh, all in all it's a very very flavorful sauce Probably has a little bit more kick than I thought for what would be an introductory sauce. Like it's not overpoweringly hot. It just has a little bit of a, a little bit of heat. It's not, it's very bearable, obviously, right? So, um, next time we will be discussing Frank's Red Hot Sauce, all right? Uh, specifically their hot buffalo wing sauce. I know it's not technically a hot sauce, but it's something that's flavorful goes great on wings and it's actually pretty versatile you could use it on a lot of other things so okay well until next time this is henry and remember spice up your life take care